In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a site page. So when you go to a SharePoint team site for the first time, uh, basically what you'll see is the team site home page. Now, what we can do in here is we can go into edit. So in the top right hand corner here, you'll see that there is an option called edit. We can also get to the edit option by going to the page tab and then selecting edit from the uh, ribbon menu. Now this will put the page into edit mode you'll see that we get the ribbon menu and you'll see that the items on the page are basically broken out and delineated by uh, different boxes now if we want to change the way or the style the way the page is laid out we go up to the option here called text layout uh, pull that down you can see that we can select one column one column with a sidebar three columns and so on so if we do want to change the layout you'll see at the moment that I've got one bar across the top and then I've got two columns underneath so I'm happy with that I'll leave that as it is now if I want to add text I just need to locate an area that is free I click my mouse there and then I can start typing text uh, if I then highlight that go up to the ribbon menu you'll see that I can for example go in here and maybe change the uh, font I can also change the um, size of the font I can change the color uh, and so on basically like I can in a word processor so all of that is available now what I can also do is I can insert an image now I can choose to use an image that is in SharePoint or I can upload an image from my desktop so to do that I find a clear error again I go to the insert tab on the ribbon and you'll see what I've got here is I go picture and I go from computer so now what I'm going to do is simply browse to a file that I wish to upload. So what I'm going to do is just take a logo here, upload. You'll see that it is going to overwrite any previous version and it's going to put it into the site assets library. So it's actually going to upload and put it into the hidden document library called site assets. Go OK. And then we'll see that image embedded on the page. Now, what you'll notice is if I click off that image, we get the ribbon and we just get an insert tab across the top. But as soon as I click on that image, you'll see that I now get an additional tab here on image. So this is now context sensitive based on what I select. So, for example, you know, I can make it smaller. Um, I could, for example, change its position if I wanted to. So all of that uh, is available and I can actually see the location. So it's in site asset site pages and so on up here okay so again once I select an item it becomes context sensitive now one of the other things that I can do here is I can also embed a video so what I've got over here is a have a YouTube video I've created and what I'm going to do is simply scroll down here to the share option you'll see that there is an option there called embed okay so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that embed code and I'm going to go back to my SharePoint site, go back to the insert tab. You'll see that I've got video and audio option here. And one of the options here is to embed. OK, so that'll bring me up with a dialog box. All I need to do there is then paste in uh, that embed code. OK, and then just go insert. And you'll now see that that uh, video has been embedded into the page automatically for me. Okay, now the other thing that we can put in here is uh, we can go again to a clear space, go into the insert, and you'll notice the other option I've got here is something called um, a web part. So if I select that, you'll see that all these web parts here conform to the apps that I currently have uh, in my team site. And also, if we select more categories on the left here, you'll see there are a number of default apps that we can add from SharePoint if we want and configure those further. But in this case, I'm going to go back to the apps that I already have. And let's say that I want to put in uh, a view of my document library. So if I add that, what we'll see then is basically a widget that is displaying my document library. So this is giving me a summary uh, on this uh, site page of my document library. Now, Basically think of this like creating a dashboard and just putting widgets that basically look into your other apps and show you data. Now, if you don't want um, a widget on the page or a web part or whatever, you just simply select it in the top right hand corner and you'll see that I can 
delete that. Now, when you delete the web part, you're not deleting the original data or the content, you're just deleting uh, the widget that displays that. Now, if I do want to make any uh, further changes, so again, here's another document, uh, here's another edit web part over here. If I select to edit the web part, what we'll see appear on the right hand side is a more in-depth editing option. So over here on the right, now that I've selected to edit that web part, you'll see that I can, in this case, change the different views that are available in that document library. I can, for example, say I don't want a toolbar. I can edit the uh, appearance and give it a different name. I can determine uh, its set height and width if I want. And then when I finish, I simply go OK, and that will then update the web part that displays uh, that information on my page. So once I'm finished here, what I need to do is I need to go up and select the save icon in the top left. There is also the save option in the top right. If you want to uh, cancel any edits, you can pull the little menu down underneath the save button and you'll see that there's an option here to stop editing, which will cancel and not apply any edits that you've now changed. But in this case, I'm good to change. So what I'm going to do is just save that. It will then save and update my page. Once I have done that, you'll see that the information is rendered and any users who now come to that SharePoint team site will now see that information displayed on the front page. Now the location where these um, pages are held, so again, if we go into our site contents, uh, you'll find that there is a library here called uh, basically site pages. Okay, so if we click into there, you'll see that there's my home page, there's an additional page that I've created, and the other default one. Okay, so they're held in a uh, library called Site Pages. The way that we can see that is to go into the page option, and you'll see that I have a button here on the ribbon bar called View All Pages. So if I select that, that will again take me to that Site Pages document library inside my SharePoint team site. Um, that I can view and create additional pages here. So if I want, I can just go in and create a new site page if I want, customize it, edit it, update and display it via a link. The other thing that you'll see is when I do go to my home page, one of the other options that is available to me here is I can make other site pages the home page. So at the moment, this is the home page, but if I was to create a, another site page, customize it the way I want it, and then what I can do is go into the ribbon for that menu item and then make that the home page and that would then become the default page people would see once they go into their team site. But the basics of it are to change the look and feel of a page in your team site. You simply select edit and this will place it into edit mode. You can then change the text layout to suit what you want. You simply go in and type text and update it. You can also delete it by selecting and deleting it. You can insert images. And again, if we go to the insert tab, you'll see that I can put in tables, pictures, videos, links, upload an embedder file, and also I can put in web apps. These web apps are part of my team site. As you can see, document libraries, calendars, contacts but also a range of default options that are available with SharePoint. When I finish making changes to my page, I simply make sure that I select the Save button. That will then update that page and make it available for all viewers within my SharePoint team site.